Hello all and welcome back to Modulus 10, a place where we share ideas and information. Today we are going to be walking through creating some really nasty wavetables for the Groove Synthesis third wave. Uh, for this test we're going to be using two Legion oscillators from WM Devices. Now we're not going to deep dive into what the third wave can do and all of its functionality. We're just going to make some wave tables today. And we're going to do that using some amazing Eurorack oscillators. So a quick high level overview. What is a wave table? A wave table is a series of single cycle waveforms. That's pretty much it. And in the third wave, a table consists of 64 of said waveforms. Again, not to deep dive, but once you have 64 waveforms in here, you can move smoothly through them using envelopes and modulation. So let's talk about the creation or rather capture process. There are two ways you can do this. The first way is to simply plug your audio source into the back of the third wave and use the menu options on the front panel to capture the sound source. And the second way, which what we're going to be looking at, is we're going to record some high quality clips into Ableton and then that way I can snag a section take that section, connect via USB, and upload into the synthesizer. So that way you have a little more control over what you're capturing. And obviously that will give you some better results. So let's move over to Luigi and create some sounds. Here we have taken two WMD Legion oscillators. We have taken the swarm output and run it into a Geranilog filter eight. We modulate the swarm detune using a 512 QVL 4 channel LFO. We have taken two of the filter outputs from the Geranilog Filter 8 and mixed them down to a mono signal through a WMD mixer. This output is then sent into an audio interface so that we can capture the waveform in Ableton Live. Now that we have the waveform captured, we can grab the section that we want to import into our wavetable. As we export this, we want to make sure the settings are set to a mono output, a 96k sample rate, and a 24-bit depth. We will export this file to our desktop for easy access. When we plug the third wave into the computer, it will show up as a hard drive. So you want to take your sound file that you just created and copy it to the hard drive. To do this, open the hard drive open the audio folder and drag the exported WAV file into the audio folder. Now let's head back over to the third wave so that we can import this newly created waveform as a wavetable. On the global menu of the third wave, scroll down to read wave maker wave and turn the second rotator to activate the import. You will see a new file name here because I had to go back and re-record the waveform to get a better sample. Click on Make Table. It will detect the pitch and then shortly thereafter scan the wave to detect waveforms. While it's searching for the waveforms, it's creating your 64 different waves from your sampled waveform. Hit Save to save this new wavetable in the location of your choice. Once the wavetable has been saved, you can select the wavetable in your oscillator and then using the wave offset knob, you can scroll through the different waves you created. If you are holding down a key during this time, you will hear each individual wave as you cycle through. Now that you've loaded this into your oscillator, let's see what it sounds like.
there you have it. You've got your wavetable loaded and it's now accessible to you to create sounds using the third wave. Now, I'm making these wavetables available on my website. If you go to modulus10.net and go to the download section, you'll see a folder called third wave. In there are some wavetables I've created using my Eurorack to just expand the possibilities of the third wave. Now, I make these available for free, so please enjoy them, use them, have fun with them. No strings attached. And again, thanks for joining us on episode one, and thank you for exploring with us how to make wavetables on the third wave.